Hi everybody, welcome. We're making a Kerala dry red chili chicken fry. So let's see what we need to get started here. I have about a little over a pound of boneless, skinless chicken thighs that I've cut into small pieces. I've washed it well. We have a video to show how to prep and wash your chicken up in the iCard or down in the description. I marinated it in just a little bit of light buttermilk or yogurt to tenderize the chicken. So that's here. I'm using about 10 whole red chilies, dried red chilies, a bunch of cilantro, half of a white onion that I've sliced, and as for our powders, I have one teaspoon of red hot chili powder, a tablespoon of coriander powder, half a teaspoon each of cumin or jeera powder and turmeric powder, tablespoon of ginger garlic paste, the juice of one lime or lemon, and a handful of dried or fresh curry leaves. As a garnish, we will be drizzling some coconut oil onto our chicken as a final after it's cooked. So let's get started. I have a pan on the stove that I'm heating with about a tablespoon of oil. And we're going to start by first adding our curry leaves and the onions. Now, as the onions fry, we're going to add our whole dried chilies. You can just probably break it up into two gently to release those seeds, which was where the spice and the heat lies. Saute it gently because the chilies can burn. I'm going to continue sauteing this till the onions are nice and brown and I've completely cooked through. The chilies and onions are nicely fried. I'm going to add all of the powders. That was coriander, cumin, chili powder, turmeric. Add a little water so they don't burn along with the ginger garlic paste. And finely diced cilantro stalks because that has a lot of flavor in it and because it's a little fibrous we added earlier on in the cooking process we're gonna give this a good stir increase our heat if you have it on low heat and continue cooking it for three four minutes till all of them are cooked and then we are ready to add our chicken it's been cooking for a few minutes now so we're ready to add our chicken. And along with it, some of the chopped cilantro leaves, give it a good stir. You can now increase your heat because the chicken is going to release a lot of water, typically. I marinated my chicken with some salt, so I'm going to add very little salt here. You need to be careful when you add salt. And if you add salt when you are frying your onions, you need to take that into account too. So we're going to cook it. Covered for the first few minutes. And once we once the chicken is cooked, we're going to cook the rest of it uncovered. It's been cooking for a few minutes now. The chicken's almost... Well, it's, I think it's cooked. We just need to dry it up a little. So I'm going to add some of the chopped cilantro leaves and a little bit of the lemon or lime juice. And continue cooking uncovered so we get a nice thick gravy. My chicken is now dry. All of the moisture is dried up. I'm going to add a little coconut oil for, for flavor. Coconut oil is healthy. 
So you can add a little more than a little if you want to. It gives it a lovely aroma. And we're ready to serve. Nice and spicy from the dried red chilies, and it has a, a slight tang to it with the lemon juice. And I can actually smell the coconut oil, which is just gorgeous. I'm gonna garnish it with some chopped cilantro and your know, Kerala style. Dry red chili chicken fries now ready for you to try and I hope you enjoy it.